I already primed my eyes with the e.l.f. eyelid primer and I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Brow Eyes Organic. I'm just going to take a flat shader and pick up some of the sandy white color. So I'm going to apply this to my eyelid on both of my eyes. And I know a lot of people apply eye makeup differently. For monoliths, they say to bring the color up higher and I just apply it the same way as my other eyelid. So I'm just going to apply that on the other eyelid as well. Okay, then I'm going to pick up that brown color and I'm going to be using a um, circular crease brush. i pick up a little bit of that outer corner and branch in with, I'm going to bring it in with circular motions as you can see here. This is to make sure that the line isn't too harsh if I just did windshield wiper motion. And for this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Bring the color onto the crease in circular motions so that I can have a natural look. As you can see, when I get closer, it doesn't look that dark at all. But then when I get away, I feel like it kind of looks like I have a black eye. I promise you it doesn't. I'm going to take the e.l.f. eyelash curler and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I'm not going to be applying mascara because I like the length of my eyelashes. I'm going to curl my eyelashes on the other eye as well. Okay, so now I changed my camera um, settings back and it seems to be a little better than it was before. So for this look, I'm going to start off with the Benefit RSVP Cream Eyeshadow. And this is very pretty. And it actually lasts, it makes the eyeshadow last a lot longer. I started using this and I find that it holds the colors a little bit better. And then I'm going to take my MAC Eyeshadow. This one is in All That Glitter, so if it'll focus. Just because if you don't put a um, lead color, it makes the crease color kind of hard to blend because it's a powder against the cream. So it's just better if you layer on another layer of powder eyeshadow on top of the cream base. Then I'm going to take a MAC eyeshadow in Espresso. See, that's how it looks in the pan, but like it doesn't look like that in this lighting. And then I'm going to start in the outer corner and just start doing the circular motion thing again and just blend it in. Just bring the color in, buffing. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes as usual. And this is a Revlon eyelash curler. I'm going to just curl my eyelashes. And I'm not going to apply mascara either for this look. Just because, as I said, I like the way my lashes look and... You're going to apply a eyeliner, and this one is in um, the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner. To apply this to the waterline. This is really difficult because I'm looking in the lens. Do that to the other eye as well. I'm going to line my tight line. Oops. And then for this eye, I'm just going to line the upper lash line as well. I normally use um, a gel liner, but since we're already at it, I might as well just line it with this one. I don't know if you could tell, but really this look is like extremely similar to the other ones, so... I guess it could be like a dupe look, so you could just buy the other one. It will turn out pretty much very, very similar. 